It was so fast, you can't really understand what was happening. John Trainer's 10-month-old son, Elliot, is in the pediatric ICU at UMC. This poor kid who, like, 48 hours before, was playing with his brothers and crawling around. And all of a sudden, you're talking about how to get him to breathe. What started off as some sniffles Thursday quickly escalated into something much worse. On Saturday, it was struggling to even sit up on the couch, struggling to open eyes. Uh, in the morning. Trainer says that they took baby Elliot to urgent care. From there, x-rays showed he had pneumonia and later learned Elliot contracted RSV. He needed to be rushed to the ER in an ambulance. With the case of respiratory illnesses on the rise, it was a five hour wait to even get a room. We have four pediatric ICUs in the valley and they're all full, you gotta California. Trainer and his wife now taking turns to be by Elliot's side 24 seven. That's what you do all night. You just stare at this little screen that beeps at you. Um, and you worry about every alarm that goes off. Doctors at first thought Elliot's condition required intubation, but they opted to sedate him and give him as much oxygen as possible, hoping his little body can fight on its own. Well, RSV in our area has been on the rise since June, and that's actually very early for what's typical for this virus, which hits in mid-fall to about spring. Now, while the virus has been infecting people of all ages, which is pretty different for this year, RSV hits babies and toddlers the hardest. The reason for that is these kids have younger lungs, younger chest wall muscles, so they can't get rid of the secretion as well as older children. Those 65 and older with chronic lung or heart disease are also susceptible to severe complications from RSV. And unfortunately right now, there is no vaccine. Yet. In the U.S., Pfizer announced preliminary research showing that a newly developed vaccine given to pregnant women could help protect their babies against RSV. Dr. Jason McLennan is a professor of molecular biosciences at UT Austin. He is also a vaccine developer. Back in 2013, he was working on a breakthrough to combat RSV at the National Institute of Health's Vaccine Research Center. He is optimistic a vaccine will be ready for everyone very soon. The clinical trials have been going on for years, and the phase three results are coming out now. Uh, I think it's the, the expectation is that we will have licensed RSV vaccines sometime next year in 2023, probably in time for the, the, the peak season. They couldn't do that years ago, but this is science in progress right now. Well, we are expecting new RSV data from Texas coming up here today, actually, and we'll, of course, update you on that on our website, cw39.com.